just as Sully Mittens. Hey, you discovered something? Like, really discovered something. Like, then the first one to find something out. You get so excited to tell all your friends, and then you Google it, and surprise, it already has a Wikipedia article and, like, 12 think pieces. You didn't discover anything. You just saw something that everyone had already seen. Well, I discovered something. Imagine a world where the Beatles only sang songs about yellow submarines, where every single Beatles song, no matter what, eventually came back to being about a yellow submarine. A world where Katy Perry only sang about California girls and Beyonce only sang about being bootylicious. A world where pop stars were governed by a specific set of rules appearing to tell the same story over and over and over. Well, what if I told you this world already existed from one artist, a pop star who sings the same story again and again on all of her songs? Three albums, two EPs, dozens of singles, and all of her unreleased music, even her covers, even her TV show themes, even her Christmas music. <laughs> you see that song? I was listening to Mittens. It's supposed to be a Christmas song, but it's not a Christmas song. Only the chorus is about Christmas. The actual song is just about getting dumped and wanting forever the person who left you. The person who left you. There's another Christmas song like that. It's called Last Christmas. But guess what? The artist who wrote Mittens has already covered Last Christmas. Last Christmas is actually a song from the 80s. There's another song from the 80s about getting dumped and wanting forever. The person who left you, it's called the king of wishful thinking, and the artist who wrote Mittens and covered Last Christmas has also covered that. In fact, it's her only 80s cover. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I discovered I discovered something. I'm not crazy. But that artist is Carly Rae Jepsen. Please, 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 please